G'day everyone. If you've got mag particle dye pen quals but you don't have quite ultrasonic thickness testing quals, what I'm going to show you in the next couple of videos or in the series is how to what to how to use this unit. We're going to go break down the manual into short little videos so you know um, how to how to use a thickness tester, but then also some of the things you might need to look for on site. Maybe it's uh, materials, maybe it's coatings, maybe it's surface roughness, or maybe it's even the geometry. So we'll break it down. So this is not for UT techs. This is shareable information for everyone who's not a UT tech. All right, guys, have an awesome day. We'll see you around. Okay, one of the things you want to do before you start doing your testing is actually do a self calibration or a verification on a known thickness test piece. What we're going to do now here is a simple self calibration on a four mil test block, four mil test block, which is integrated into the top. Let's turn it on. Cool, it'll turn on, bring to home screen. Let's just get that backlight on for the for argument's sake on this here. So we've got some uh, um, some gel on the probe and we're going to put it on. So here's a couple of things that you'll notice. So other than the number, what's happening here is I'm not pushing very hard. But right now you can see this arrow and it's saying, okay, we've got some sort of reading, but not very good. I'm not very happy with it. But once we put it down and there is good contact and good sound signal, you'll see that it transitioned from a, an outline to a fully solid arrow pointing down. That's what, it, what, that's what you're looking for to make sure that you're happy or keep it nice in the middle, keep, that your readings are nice and consistent. What we do now is once we've got, once I try to keep this probe still and stop sliding around, so we've got that there, we'll push the... Sorry, we'll push the down arrow, and the, what we'll, we'll do is make an adjustment, uh, a self-calibration for the velocity and the thickness of the material, and lock that in. Now, if we were to do the same to this test lock over here, and I was just to put, able to put that straight down, confirm it, this is a 12.5 mil test block. It's quite not too bad right there. I think the only thing different would be would be the material velocity between this test block here and this material here. And then we would only need to go into the menu, change, the, adjust the velocity to be accurate to this material. This particular unit, this the CTS series, it can be to any uh, acoustic uh, velocity. So, so if you, for example, if you're doing brass, you're doing stainless steel, carbon steel, aluminiums, mild, mild steels. Um, for example, you might also be doing magnesiums, titaniums, zincs, tin. This is also uh, suitable for acrylic, acrylic resins. Anything that has an acoustic velocity, um, you would be able to use this particular unit. Obviously, if you're between the thickness reading, uh, thickness range of 0.8 mil to 300 millimeters, and it has an acoustic velocity, you should be able to catch it on this.